Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. In my last video I said that we was going to talk about the Celestron 8 inch Schmidt case grain telescope that I pretty much destroyed. Well, today we're going to go into a little bit of detail. I've got some images I'm going to share with you guys and show you the damage of what actually happened originally to then how I destroyed it after I've then repaired it and see what you think. <music> probably 2021 and I'd gone out for the evening took some nice pictures and this is where I think that it's important when I talk about learning about astrophotography it's about learning about the, the silly things as well like I never put my telescope back properly so what I did was I just put it in the conservatory well we live in a 300 year old uh, cottage so our conservatory rains more inside than it does outside which is a huge problem uh, and it's a huge problem especially when you're using expensive equipment and then just dumping it in there and, and hoping that it's all going to be okay well I, I left it and I, I'd been having issues with astrophotography and learning and, and, and really just couldn't get into it I was struggling with my images and I wasn't seeing the results it was only later on that I realised you know certain aspects of this um, to give you an end product that actually looked really good so what I did was I ended up leaving it I think for about six weeks um, still set up and it still had the cover on the on the you know the front of it and everything but where it had been raining so heavily the drips had just literally poured into the telescope and the whole thing got absolutely saturated I mean it, it was actually water inside um, I would say probably quarter of the telescope was full up with dirty old rainwater, um, which I'm going to put some pictures on here now. So as you can see from the pictures, it wasn't good. Um, but how I could sort of overcome that was uh, I'd watched some other YouTube videos of how to strip it all down, and so I took the I took the main mirror out, and uh, the, like the prime, which is called the primary mirror, which that mirror sits in the back of the telescope here. So here's my C8, um, and in the back here is your primary mirror, and in the front here is your secondary mirror. Yeah, so tiny little mirror at the front, big mirror at the back. So I managed to take the big mirror out, and. Uh, what I'd done was I used uh, a little bit of dish soap or washing up liquid and uh, uh, some cotton bud. Yeah, and what you do is you stick it into a, a very clean bowl. You know, you've got to make sure it's really clean. Um, and then you put some lukewarm water in it and then you just, in circular motions, just go around it and that's how you're meant to clean the mirror. And then afterwards, I mean, I was told that you should just let it dry by itself and then you can go over it with like, um, you know, like in the last video where I showed you the Celestron uh, lens cleaning kit, you could then potentially go over it with the spray and just give that a nice little buffer. But what I would suggest is don't take that advice. Um, send it to the telescope shop instead. They'll fix it up for you. They'll send it back. It'll be as good as new again. And you'll be like, yeah, all right, it cost a lot of money, but well worth it. Uh, for me, I, I was I was so impatient. I didn't want to wait um, for that to happen. So I decided, right, I'm going to clean it, dry it, get it back in the scope, and then or in the tube, and then after that, I'm just going to get out of there, take some images, and it worked. It was actually quite successful. However, I did end up with a smear on the front glass, and the mirror was quite bad. Um, it did clean up enough without affecting the images too much but there was a couple of marks on it like I say this was out for six weeks so what I had inside was there was rust in it I mean it was gunky there was actually mold and stuff in there I mean to the point if you can see on here even the screws some of them actually rusted so it, it I didn't look after it and that that's ultimately what happened is I didn't look after it and I was a bit of a wally but we fixed it so anyway, that wasn't really how I destroyed the telescope. And you tell me in the comments actually, because I'm not sure whether it's actually destroyed or whether I can replace it. I mean, if you want me to to look at replacing this stuff, I'll replace it and I'll 
do videos on how I do it and take it apart and show you my mistakes. And Because I guarantee, if I take this apart again and put new parts on, I will make mistakes, but I'm happy to do it for you guys. So um, anyway, how I, how I nearly destroyed it was, well, or how I destroyed it, I think I destroyed it, was I had gone out for an evening, uh, really nice, but it was, we've had a lot of rain here, so the, the dew's pretty horrendous at the moment. And uh, uh, my wife had just bought me the Celestron uh, do ring, which works really well, which you can see on the front there. Yeah, which is why it's got the cable in, hanging at the front of it. If anyone wanted to know why that, why I had cables hanging at the front of my telescope. Uh, worked really well. But what I had an issue with was, I think, when the original damage had been done, the gaskets inside um, weren't very good, so the tube wasn't sealed. So my primary mirror, which is the big mirror in the back, that um, I got really bad condensation on that. To the point, I watched a couple of other videos, and I should have listened to this guy. I, sh I shouldn't have. I did, and I didn't listen to him. He said, "Pack up for the night. Call it a night. That's it. You're done." Um, I went with the impatient version, which was borrow the wife's hair dryer and try dry it. Like a huge mistake. However, I'll show you how I've done it. And it did work, but it didn't. So I took out the secondary mirror. Yeah, so you unscrew it. Obviously, you know, I, I wouldn't suggest anyone taking off the secondary or primary or, or any mirrors actually you know leave your telescope uh, you leave your telescope try and keep it clean so I'll stick that with the glass upright or the mirror upright right so the hole in the top which goes down to the primary yeah so the light comes in hits the primary hits the secondary comes back through the eye hole yeah that's how your telescope works yeah and that's how you, you, you get your image in or you're viewing, whatever you want to look at. So I borrowed the wife's hair dryer uh, to dry out the primary mirror. And my little Tony boy, he was um, he was out in the garden with me. So I plugged the hair dryer in, just getting going, and Tony decides he's going to the toilet. So um, I thought to myself, right, okay, uh, I need to go and clean up his mess. But I really wanted to get this done. And this hole was perfect for the hair dryer, so I stuck the hair dryer in it and went and picked up his mess. I got distracted with some other stuff as well, sort of walked around for five minutes, I think. When I came back to it, pulled the hair dryer out, it was fine. Um, the tube was a bit warm, but it was fine. Um, the primary mirror, all the condensation had gone. So I'm like, right, perfect. Quickly stick my secondary mirror back in, stick the secondary mirror back in. I put the cap back on it, and then I'm like, why is it not focusing? Yeah, so I'm looking at stars and I'm trying to focus. So I'm like, right, let's just go to Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter's really bright up in the sky at the moment. Take some images of it, like, really bad. Like, the focus is just not there. And I'm, I'm reaching my limit on focus. I'm like, there's something is more wrong than what I even know right now. So I go back to the primary mirror thinking oh it's condens uh, I must have condensation again on it no condensation it was crystal clear like perfect so I then get my torch and I'm looking and then I realize that inside there's like a flange yeah which goes around the secondary mirror yeah so you put your secondary mirror in but below that so if you can imagine inside of the telescope there's another pipe yeah, so like imagine like a plastic piping, and that goes down, and it's it's just to focus the light more into that area. I'd actually melted that, and if you can see on here, you can actually see how I how it's rolled, and that was a huge mistake, because at that point it was like that's it, the telescope's useless. It can't, be, it can't be operated, so the telescope can't actually work at the moment. 
Um, I know, I know everyone's probably looking at, oh, you haven't looked after it anyway. Um, I hadn't, and and this is partly why I wanted to do this video. I wanted to say, laziness really does affect you massively when it comes to the telescopes, and I, I know I was very lazy when it came to this, and it's it's taken me uh, quite a bit of time to realise that astrophotography. Astronomy, just in general, is um, you have to have quite a lot of patience. Yeah, you don't want to sit there rushing anything when it comes to running equipment like this. You know, when you're talking about a lot of money, you've got to look after the stuff, which is why I mean, it, it's in a way, I'm glad that I learned with this and I just didn't go straight out. Usually, I mean, I've got so many hobbies, I do a bit of everything. And usually I'll just go out and buy the best of the best. I didn't do it that time, and I'm glad I didn't because if I'd have done that to a, a six, seven thousand pound telescope, eight grand, nine grand telescope, I'd have been furious. You know, I was still angry with myself. Don't get me wrong. You know, but it's it's um, it's been a, a world lesson learned. Um, look after your stuff. Make sure that it's clean, make sure it's well well looked after in a dry environment. You don't want it getting dirty and um you know it needs to stay clean all the time. So even with even with the C eleven, now what I have is I actually have a blanket that goes over the top of it which drapes down over loads and then I have a waterproof cover and then it's actually got the roof obviously in the observatory area. So it stays dry all the time. It's well looked after and um it took that happening to me for me to actually get to that stage of I now I know how to look after these things and um, I don't want you guys ruining your telescopes because when it happens it, it does destroy your night and you're like god damn it if I'd have only just done that it would have been all right and that's pretty much it for today's um, for today's episode guys is I just wanted to show you what not to do really you know it's um, yes yeah, it's, it's an expensive mistake so please don't do it if you've got an issue you know especially watching the video and it said you know call it a night the worst case scenario you, you could go and get your your wife's hair dryer the biggest mistake i mean i should have done the right thing which is send it to the telescope shop you know i'd say anyone that has an issue with their telescope just send it to the telescope shop or if you're a member of a telescope club um just ask for advice you know or go on youtube and ask somebody with a bit of experience what do you think about this and uh, hopefully they'll come back to you with a good bit of information and, and probably tell you that, you know it's this this or this or send it to the telescope shop and they'll fix it up for you send it back it'll be like brand new you know which is great so um yeah as always guys uh, i really appreciate you watching the video uh, if you can like and subscribe to the video that would be that'd be great and um yeah drop us a comment you know i'm happy to come back to you guys and you know if you want me to rebuild the celestron um eight inch schmidt uh, case grain i'm happy to do that and and video it all and document everything for you and um i've also i put an image on uh, which i caught with the c8 of the andromeda galaxy so i'll stick that on the video at the end and uh yeah, until next time, guys, um, keep well.